Here in Springfield, Massachusetts, you are watching the Nike EYBL Scholastic at the Spalding Hoop Hall Classic. From the Hall of Fame to Blake Arena at Springfield College just across town and another top 25 high school showdown here at Hoop Hall. Brewster Academy from Wolfboro, New Hampshire and Oak Hill, the traditional power from mouth of Wilson, Virginia. It has been a special day and we're able to just catch our breath moments ago <laughs> after what we saw between Montverde and Prolific Prep. Montverde's toughest test of the year. They edge out Prolific, led by the number one player in the country, Cooper Flag, double-double, also had five blocks, all the talent in that game. We welcome you courtside. He's the ESPN National Director of Recruiting, Paul Biancardi. I'm Ted Emmerich. We're all recovering after what we just saw, how special that game was between Montverde and Prolific Prep. Yeah, as they say, it's not hype, okay, if it's real, and that was real. I have not seen that type of talent in this atmosphere in the 15 years that I've been doing this at ESPN. Absolutely a top five game ever. We hope that you were with us for that one on ESPN2. And here on ESPN Plus, we promise a fun matchup here late tonight from Springfield featuring Micah Robinson of Oak Hill. He's in the ESPN 100 headed to TCU. And he'll see Noyes Indrusatis of Brewster in the Big 12 starting next season. Indrusatis has signed with Iowa State. What do you think of Micah Robinson's game? Well, first of all, we have an exciting matchup between two top 25 teams. And Micah Robinson, I love his inside-out approach. Terrific straight-line driver as well. Broad shoulders, strong hands, and a soft touch. And he's going to play his college basketball next season at TCU for Jamie Dixon. He could be a difference maker for Oak Hill on the other side for Brewster Academy. Noyes in Dusatis, a shot maker headed to Iowa State. He loves to get it off from deep. He can get you on a rhythm dribble. Different ways to score the basketball. A high IQ player who makes this team go offensively. He needs to come up big against Oak Hill. They need his points in this one. We check out the starting lineups presented by Nike. First for Brewster, Jeremiah Jenkins, seniors headed to Brown. Starts at point guard, Daniel Jacobson at 7-2. Pass tonight, we got some shooters, we got a lot of size on the court as well. And the first jumper knocked down by Christian Anderson. Top 15 teams in the program, so if you want to move up in the rankings, get a win tonight. Oh, nice move by Francis Chuka Debellu on either side, but plenty of players that you'll see in college basketball over the next four years. Inside, Preston Fowler beats the buzzer. Two-man game by Brewster. By the way, Fowler shares a hometown with our producer, Andy Bach, Woo! as Anderson nails another one. That don't leave to help on Christian Anderson. Brewster is without their best player, Dwayne Aristode, four-star prospect. He's got a broken finger. They hope that he's back by the end of the season. Indrasadis knocks down a three as the head coach. Most notably, probably Donovan Mitchell, the four-time All-Star with the Cavs. Yeah, and you also had Will Barton yeah. before that. But yes, Donovan Mitchell without question. Anderson and one. What a four fouler. And a three ball for Caden Magwood, who is Oak Hill's leading scorer. In fact, second in the EYBL. Big headed to Purdue. Magwood rising up again, and he buries it. Sebastian Wilkins knifing in, and taken away by Oak Hill, but Preston Fowler got it back for Brewster. Indrasadis open look. And the tip in by Fowler. Quarter inside for Brewster. Magwood feeling it. Oh, How about yet another jumper. That, that's been worked on over the years. Seven in a row for Caden Magwood. Wilkins met at the rim. Absolutely. I love the ACC, but I think the SEC is the best basketball conference in the country. They certainly have the most top 100 recruits this year and next. <laughs> you Most have to. Players from the class of 2024 that are ranked are going to the SEC. 
Yeah, I big... don't think that's the only deciding factor, but oh well. No, it certainly helps. And obviously the pull here on plus. <laughs> Am I Stephen A? <laughs> You're somebody. Caden Magwood all the Caden. way to the rim. On a consistent basis. Three ball for DJ Shine goes down. He's headed to Murray State. And he gives Jason Smith at Brewster some really valuable minutes. Being told that after the first quarter in which we did not see Elijah Crawford, the four-star point guard headed to Stanford, that he's dealing with a knee injury as Vincent hits the mark. For it's one thing to turn around and spin. It's another to fade away. Anderson got off to a great start. Oh, and it continues into their offense, Ted, and also get back on defense. Nobody back that time for Brewster. Jenkins filling the void tonight, and he drops in a three. You've got to be precise with your cuts. You've got to come off the screens looking to score. And Daniel Jacobson is a heck of a screener at 7-2. Imagine that, a seven-footer going to Purdue, by the way. Anderson, no, but Lindsay, <laughs> and especially nowadays. He can oh, they'd be gone first semester <laughs> with Coach. Fowler, swish, it's a three. Yeah, with Purdue, you think of Zach Eady, of course, National Player of the Year, Jacobson. It's hard to coach touch. Magwood got past him. Steve Smith had a, a great way with his talented players. Got them to play hard, got them to play together, and got them to the next level. Caden Magwood with the steal, O'Kill on the break, and Magwood banks it home. So it can get out and run a little bit. He gets some easy points. And going reverse side with the foul, Sebastian Wilkins. Really comfortable and stepping up for Oak Hill. Down low, Fowler rattles it home. Vincent is a power forward, not a center, really. Steal by Wilkins in transition. Oh, the pass behind Fowler. Wilkins got it back, though. And he curls it in around Vincent. This kid is emerging as a player at Brewster Academy. And suddenly, it's a one-point game. Oak Hill led by as many as 14 in the first half. Vincent ends the Brewster momentum with UIBL Scholastic for gunning for. Well, all the kids talk about that in the offseason. So he talks about the crowd. This was a Brawny James type crowd in the last game. Yes. Standing room only. Tickets were sold out. Jacobson with another basket from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Jason Smith, his coach, says his best basketball is going to come in about two to three years. Jacobson at the rim. Robinson, perseverance. This is the right place, right time type of guy. Macwood, bullseye. Jenkins headed to Brown. Filling in for the injured Elijah Crawford tonight. He's done a solid job. Fowler, book it. Aj Aj Booze, yeah. Point guard. That's going to be tremendous. And as for Cameron Boozer, I mean, we said it last year, and we saw him at City of Palms as DJ Shine knocks down the three for Bruce. If Cameron Boozer was in the draft this year, he would be a lottery pick. There's no question about it. Multiple scouts. Great finish that time. They are two fabulous. Kids and players. Shine. Oh, how did that go? Jenkins for the lead. Give it to him. With 16. One of four Bobcats in double figures tonight. Robinson. Against Andrew Sadis. Nice finish at the other end. Sent against Andrew Sadis. Tim to shoot. Over Kirouac, he gets it to go. In high school basketball. Shine fell down. Anderson wow. plus the foul. Christian Anderson has 18. Anderson downhill. Block from behind. Brewster comes up with it. Jenkins ahead. Wilkins the finish. Brewster down by a point. Brewster down by a point. Back 
You don't want to wait too long because if you miss, you want the tip in. Jenkins. Intrusatus. Money. Noyes Intrusatus gives Brewster the lead with 1.9 to go. It has been a tough shooting night for the Iowa State signee, but he comes through in the clutch. He was so poised sitting in the left corner. Watch him cut to the other side. He's in the left corner right now. The ball will get reversed via the baseline drive, the penetration, the kick. Andrew Sadis just knocks it down. He is wired to score the basketball. And he had the toughness to take the shot. What about five seconds or four seconds to go? What a win this would be for Brewster Academy. Probably have two dribbles at most. Magwood from three quarters court. Oh, almost banked it in. That was online. But Brewster rallies for the victory. Noyes in Drusatis, the hero at Hoop Hall. They started with their defense in the third quarter. Their offense at the end of the game. Intrusatis makes the game winning shot. Huge, clutch, and timely. Down by 12 at the half. Brewster wins it. That'll do it tonight here at Hoop Hall for Paul Biancardi and our entire crew. Ted Emmerich saying so long. Join us tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern on ESPNU. Five more games. But for now, we say good night from Springfield.